Here we go, Germany versus Angola. A mouthwatering clash here. If Germany's not ready for this game, they could be surprised. Jump ball, center court. Game's underway, Germany. Well, they say Femmerling jumped the ball. It hadn't reached its apex. Now, why would he do that? He's seven feet tall. <laughs> yeah. Well, referees sometimes uh, just get a little bit carried away with their jump ball situation. Well, it's become a non-event in basketball. The only jump ball you have now is to start the game. It's sort of a formality. And now we've got a, a direction arrow that alternates one side then the other throughout the rest of the game. That includes quarter breaks and uh, restarting it after the halftime break. So as I say, it's just a formality now. Angola with possession. Cipriano makes a move, gets a nice look over uh, Dirk Nowitzki. Ball doesn't go down. We'll see if Germany's into the game or whether they're still sort of cruising or smarting after their punishing loss to Spain earlier in the round. Femmerling bouncing in, kicks it out. Okolodja from out beyond the three, can't hit it. One miss each team to start the game. Well, you can see what the Germans want to do. They want to try and get the ball inside first. Have a look at those options. If nothing's on, kick it back out. Well, even we saw there Gomez trying to get a pass inside. It was knocked away by the Germans, so a steal, a turnover. Second player of the game for the Germans. Inside again, back out. That's interesting. Hamann took the pass up beyond the arc, and he said, well, I can penetrate a little bit. Took one big step inside and knocked it down. Good shooting from him. Well, he's not shooting the ball well in this tournament, so... I think that was a good decision by Haman to, to take that just a couple of steps in closer to the basket. A better, better for your, your confidence if you're going to knock down a small jumper rather than a large jumper. Well, if these facts mean anything, listen to this. Spain beat Angola by 10. Spain beat Germany by 21. So put that in your little mental calculator and see if you can come up with some explanation for what might happen today. Femmerling is fouled by Minguez. I think you'll find number 15, Minguez, was all over him. Gave him just, just that little shoulder charge there. Nothing in it, really. Femmerling wasn't going anywhere. Yep, Eduardo Minguez. Such a good game against New Zealand. He was sort of the single-handed destroyer. Demon Green can't get it. The ball knocked high. Now that's usually the case. If you can't get two hands on it, spike it high. Nowitzki, jump, shot, fade away. You, you, you can't stop that. That's a standard shot, the fade away. The fade away jumper. That's his patented shot in the NBA. And he shoots it so well. Turnover, Latonda going down the lane, talking to the referee. He well, seems I, to think he got pushed, but... I think that's a little save, save some face talk from Latunda. He just went too far. He was in the air, no parachute, nowhere to go, no pass on. Dangerous position to be in the air with no parachute, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Femmerling, back to Nowitzki. Nowitzki, not a real good tournament for him, but he's still scoring about 20 a game. See, once again, inside out for the Germans. Inside, Femmerling backs in, spins, little fake, puts it up, easy too, and yeah. Mingus stayed away from him that time. Yeah, Mingus needed to because like Mingus is just so outsized in terms of height and, and a little bit of a bulk. Femmerling, just too big. Well, players matching up, talking to the ref. They're trying to get the call. Haman thought he was elbowed by Latunda, no whistle. In the meantime, the shot is missed. The offensive board, Gomez. Can't hit it, Latunda kicks it out. Cipriano, he'll have a crack. Throws an air ball, but Gomez on the weak side gets an easy putback. Joaquin Gomez. He's been a, just a stellar worker on the boards for, for Angola. And there you see Femelin going to the lane again with the left hand on Minguez. Now, Coach, is, he's getting all over the case of Minguez, but Minguez doesn't want to get in that foul trouble. 
Well, it's good offense from Germany. They're going to the big guy, Femmerling. That'll take some pressure off Nowitzki. Femmerling can score eight, 10 points in the first period here. That gives Angola something else to talk about. Gomez, nice move down the lane and gets the two. It was pretty simple stuff for Gomez. I sure. think the Germans are sort of taking this game too as, well, let's not try and get in too early foul trouble. Let's see how it develops. As we see, Nick, Dirk Nowitzki with the three. Look at the expression on his face. That's dangerous for Angola with Dirk getting off so well because previous games he's, he's been a slow starter. Maybe, you know, three or four shots missed early on. Well, Nowitzki, such a professional customer. Good rebound. The outlet pass in Germany. Not really forcing the pace. And the foul is on Miguel Latunda, number 14. Yeah, I think Germany have decided that Angola is such a good team in the open court, good fast-breaking type team, can shoot the three in the open play. They've decided to take the air out of the ball, be very methodical on offense, let's work the ball inside, then go outside and see how it goes from there. Good strategy by the Germans. Fade away, Nowitzki can't get it. Mingus, weak side rebound, Angola pushing it up quickly. Inside, Gomez stops, fakes. Reverse layup, gets his own rebound. The man is tireless in there and he's fouled. So Germany having a little bit of work to do under their own defensive board. Well, Gomez was all by himself. There was one, two, three, four black jerseys there and only one white jersey in frame. And that was, and that's been the case for Angola the whole time. You know, they have guys that just relentless on the offensive glass. In comes the other, the big man. Musa, number 12, he's another big man that can shoot the three, but is just tireless inside. And the little man, Barros, the man with a cut above his left eye, he's a fiery little character, number seven for Angola. So already a few substitutions for Angola. 11-5, six point spread early on here. And Gomez has been their offense thus far. He's got six points. Angola has six points. Germany on 11. Angola playing man to man. Nowitzki guarded by Gomez inside to Femmerling. This is good offense from the German team. They're playing the ball inside to Femmerling. They're not concentrating on Nowitzki. The big seven footer at the free throw line again. Femmerling already has four points. He rims it, bounces out. Well, the Angolan fans putting up a little bit of noise, trying to distract the big fella. Second shot, nothing but. <laughs> Barros, left alone for just a moment, decides to give it up, and Cipriano finds Almeida. Here's a streak shooter. Goes left, stops, puts it up. It was a good look, just fell short. Well, Angola, they're not, they're not going to go away. I think the Germans' game plan is very, very simple, very effective right now, and it's starting to, it, it is working for them. But, you know, watch out if the Angolans get a couple of fast breaks. Here they go, pushing the ball, Barros. Yeah, they've got, they've got speed outside. Barros is one of those speedsters. Cipriano, turnaround jump shot, throws air, and it's saved by Musa. Almeida, down the lane. Oh. They get the foul. It's going to be against Haman, I do believe. Well, see, there's another example of the hustle of the big men on the offensive glass. Musa, you would have said that was for all money gone, but he, he saved the ball, got it back in, um, Almeida immediately attacked the rim. Gone are the days where you have a seven footer and you plant them in the middle of the defense and tell them catch the ball on offense and, uh, and don't shoot it uh, outside the keyhole. Gone are those days. And the international stars have bought that pressure. 
or, or brought that new type of uh, player to the international game. And now the NBA have picked up on those sort of uh, shooting stars. Oh, you're dead right. Into the game comes uh, Murray, I think it is. It is, number six. So two point guards into the game. Barros and Murray, Carlos Murray. Nowitzki down low, puts the ball to the floor, comes across. Well, he's almost impossible to stop in there. Gomez picks up a foul trying to slow him down. Well, when Nowitzki's in this sort of mood, you don't know whether to look. He's now posting up one step deep into the lane, and it's just a finger roll over the top of the rim. That's, that's the, the sort of skill that you've got as a seven-footer. Shoot the three, post up, shoot the medium-range jumper, handle the ball, rebound. And as you say, when he's in this sort of form, he's almost impossible to stop. Well, you see it in his body language. This is the professional who's uh, just come to work, taken off his suit coat, loosened his tie, and he's just going to work. He's on eight points already, leading score in the ball game by a long way. Gomez, little jump hook over Nowitzki, now nothing forced, but air. And as you say, Nowitzki now showing his defensive prowess. He forced Gomez into a, a near ball. Nowitzki on the floor, goes to the hoop. The left-handed hook this time. Gomez did a good job staying with him. Just put the shot off slightly. Angola need to score. They're down 15-8. 3.22 left in the first period. Nice drive to the hoop. Olimpio Cipriano. <laughs> There's a certain rhythm to that, oh, that name. When that man touches the ball and decides to go down the lane, there's only one thing you can do is foul him. And Patrick Femelin, that's the only thing he could do. Foul him. He fouled the wrong hand as well, Patrick Femelin. Cipriano put the ball into his right hand. Femelin fouls his left. <laughs> That boy can fly. A lot of hang time there. Cipriano, so athletic. A very talented 24-year-old. Nowitzki inside Femerling. The spin doesn't work. Brings it back high. And he kicks it out. Akalaja can't hit it. And Cipriano on the break. One on three. Then that's, he pulls up. That's what Angola want. They want to get the ball out in the break and break people down one-on-one -on -one as Cipriano just did. The Germans will need to talk about it because the game plan offensively is great, but defensively, the Angolans are just taking them apart so well. What happens in African basketball? I can tell you, there's 11 teams and Coach Cavallo uh, coached the winning championship team in their national league this year. Uh, fund of information as usual, Jeff Green, Mitat Demerel, now at point guard for Germany and Robert Garrett into the ball game. Schultze as well goes to the hoop. Nice running left-hander. That guy's got talent. He's a big body, Schultze. He stands 2.8 meters tall. A lot of weight. 28-year-old. He's not a youngster. Musa from the baseline over Nowitzki. Marais. Throws it away. Marais gets it. Gets it back. Cipriano again, look at the quickness. Oh, he just blows past Okalaja on the free on the baseline. And Garrett reaching in against Gomez at the top commits a foul. Femmerling on two fouls. He's on the bench at the moment. He limped off during that half that uh, break. And I just wonder if um, he strained a knee or something. Schultz replacing him. Six foot ten replaces seven foot. That's not bad. <laughs> it's pretty good substitution. Cipriano against Okalaja. The foot speed difference you see there. He went around Okalaja as though Okalaja was still had the handbrake on. <laughs> well, Okalaja knows that he's got a great defensive assignment. And unless he uh, stops it, the Cipriano Express leaves the three-point line every 30 seconds. Going to the hole. Well, Angola shooting 72% over four games from the free throw line. 73% from Germany. Both teams pretty handy from the free throw stripe. Shooting percentages overall, well, 46% each. On three points, pretty close again. 40% for Angola, 39 for Germany. And the lucky run from the charity stripe continues. Seven of seven for Angola. That's keeping them in this game. 
two points behind Germany. Waning moments here in the first period. Garrett. Well, Germany continuing with that game plan, slowing the ball down, kicking it inside first, looking nothing there, kicking it back out. Pretty good effective game plan. Now yep. they'll try and stop the Angolans from penetrating and getting easy baskets, easy looks. And Carlos Murray looking inside. The bounce pass a little tough to handle for uh, Musa. Well, it was around Musa's ankles, so the big man isn't going to stoop that low to try and get it. Nowitzki finds Demerol, the little point guard. Now hits Green. Green has the ball knocked away from him. Cipriano has it taken right away from him. Two lackadaisical going for that ball. He traveled. Stepped called. Yeah. <laughs> that call... Uh, the, the referees here in Group B have been very, very consistent calling that. Well, in theory, your pivot foot should not be lifted until the ball hits the court. It's a tough call to make, but it's been blown against a couple of teams here. Musa kicks it out to Cipriano. A little fake into the corner. Oh, nice working it inside, and Gomez... Draws the foul. Schultz comes over and belts him. Not with malice aforethought, however. Just no, to no. trying to block that shot. Just a hard foul. But it was good, good little sort of ball play between the Angolan players. Normally they would have settled for the outside three. A couple of ball fakes there. A couple of good little passes into changes. Gomez wasn't quite able to convert it, and he misses the first. Well, that's the first missed free throw for Angola. 19-16, under a minute to play in the first period. Time running down here. Demerol goes down out front. He takes steps as he hit the deck. Both feet were in the air as he slid across the floor. And that's called a walking turnover. Goes Angola's way, 42 seconds. And Angola could level it here with a three or seriously cut it in, cut into the lead with a two. Cipriano against Garrett. Okolodge has been taking out, just couldn't stay with Cipriano. From the top, Nowitzki. Oh, he's a do-everything man. Every time, every time something uh, positive happens for Germany, you can bet Nowitzki's got a candidate somewhere. He started it or finished it or directed it. You put the ball on the floor and come high. Three and a half seconds. Well, oh. <laughs> after all that time thinking about his options, he said, why not take the easy one? Well, nothing was happening. Happening. No one was cutting. And when you've got a player of that caliber that can do that sort of thing, it's pretty easy offense. Byros, sporting that bandage over his left eye, comes out and he's tracking, hunting down Demerel. Schultze, Femmerling back in the game. We'll see what his knee is like. Oh, he looks all right to me. No problem. A little bit of a strain that I saw just in the first period is not there and Sergeant Schultze <laughs> knocks it down. Schultze, what a great little turnaround jumper. Well, you got to remember, this is another guy who's six foot ten, two point one oh meters tall, big, big body. Barros making a move against Demerol, pulls up, threw a brick on the glass. Shot clock expires. Germany with possession. Now Angola, under a little pressure here, they've slipped back seven points in arrears of Germany. Cipriano almost gets a steal. Well, Germany can't relax, Jeff. No, Angola, think, very I, quick. I think they've got the right game plan. To They really have just taken 
the wind out of the sails, and we wish we had some wind here in Hiroshima at the moment, but they've taken the wind out of the sails of the Angolans. They're just trying to keep them down slow, keep them without running the ball. That's the key for the Germans. And I think they've, they've got the right game plan. It's working right now. Demon Green from out beyond the arc can't score it. And the German shooting, which was so exceptional against New Zealand, just hasn't been the same since. 0 of 6 from the three-point line. That's a bit surprising. Barros working against Demerel. A little bit of a mismatch there, and he goes inside, and he's foot-tripped by Demerel, who's claiming Barros put an elbow in his chest. And this happens every time there's a whistle. There's always this little discussion. Well, let's have a look. Oh, well, Demerel's saying that he actually hooked him. But it, I don't think it was a, an outright hook. He did have an elbow attached around, but he didn't have the rest of his arm extended. Well, the, so. the case for the defense failed. Guilty is charged, so Demerel picks up a foul. Oh, nice move to the hoop by Green. Nice body control, but it just refuses to drop. Lady Luck not smiling on the Germans. Nowitzki on the bench. At the moment, he was up on his feet. I'm sure he'd like to be in the ball game. Germany's struggling now offensively. They don't have that go-to guy, that automatic shot. Nowitzki provides him with so much confidence. Gomez can't hit it. Garrett igniting a fast break. No, Germany slowed down. You yeah, know, that a fast break, unless they're going to get a lap, you won't see Germany on too many fast breaks tonight. Garrett over the outstretched hands of Musa. Ball is kicked back high, and Germany pick it up. That resets the shot clock. 23-16. A bit of an arm wrestle right now. Two and a half minutes have been played. Two points have been scored. Germany will lead 2-0 in this period. Demerol from out beyond the arc. Well, well another miss. This is unbelievable shooting from the, the Germans. Unbelievable in that they haven't hit anything from the outside. 0 of 8 now. Cipriano off the glass. Couldn't get it down. He gets a good look. He's got such good hang time. Probably could have made a little bit more of that. Green. Well, there we go. Damon Green improves the statistical shooting. One for nine for Germany from the three-point line. More importantly, builds a 10-point lead. And as the lack of scoring shows, Novitsi comes, will be coming in the next break. But Barros answers. Says, so we're back to that seven-point lead again. That's right. Anything you so can long. do, I can do better. Smack. At the other end, the ball hanging on the ring. And Musa got a hand to it, just kept it from dropping in and then pulled down the rebound. Once the ball hits the iron, it's in play, so the defender can go up and knock it away. Almeida, nice little pass to Musa. Spins, and it's blocked by Femerling. Back into the hands of Angola. Cipriano, Cipriano, there we are. Athletic as, just going to the basket, as we know he can. And just throws in a lovely little shot inside the keyhole. Atletico Olimpio Cipriano. Femmerling, nice little fake, puts it up, but he's chopped, and he'll get a couple of free throws. Nowitzki and Hamann coming back into the game for Germany. Patrick Femmerling, five points, trailing Nowitzki, who's on 10. And for Angola, the leading scorer at the moment, Gomez on seven, and Cipriano on nine points. One of two, 27-21, six-point lead. Carvalho into the game. Antonio Carvalho, now he's one of the veterans, 37 years old. He's played very, very well in patches, little fake, and he tries to draw the foul. There was no whistle. He'll have a word with the referee as he goes up the court. 
Well, I think it was just good defense by Demon Green. He knew he got uh, sucked in, so he sort of twisted his body away from the offensive player. Well, Kalaja tries to kick it out in Barros, or was it uh, Almeida? Almeida signals thumbs up to the referee. He knew he was caught guilty as charged, sir. Twenty-seven, twenty-one. Angola staying with Germany, but just not having the offensive consistency to get their noses in front. Akalaja takes a little jump, could have been steps. Nowitzki drives, puts the ball in the air. He's looking for the foul. He <laughs> wasn't happy with the lack of a call. He gave a long stare to the referee. Now Dick Bowman still looking at him. Helps his player out by questioning the referee as well. And Barros is fouled in the air. He says, I'll just hang on to the ball. It'll save a little extra time. So he doesn't even try to pass it. Watch this. Whack there. So he just hangs on to it. Germany had him boxed in and defended. He's lucky he got the call, Jeff. Yeah, well, Damon Green, he didn't protest it. Barros just too quick for him offensively. Melton Barros, number seven. Carvalho. The veteran, number nine, Almeida. He's a real streak shooter. Good defense from the Germans. They're really putting pressure on Angola outside. Angola really struggling to get a good look at the basket. Offensively, what are they going to do? Well, it's because uh, the Germans have got them in this half-court set. And the Angolans, the only thing they've got off the half-court set is a drive to the basket. Because the German defense is playing good half-court defense. Main Mengus kicks it out. Five seconds on the shot clock. And that's the key, Bob. The German defense is just so good in the half court. And Angola can't get into that running game. They can't get into the open looks that they, they love to do. Perfect game plan to date for Germany. Yes, it is. So Germany, a chance to extend their lead. We've got four minutes left to play in the first half. Uh, Germany not ahead by a lot of points, but they're certainly uh, looking tougher and tougher as the minutes go on here. Angola, oh, nice spin dribble for Okolaja. He spun through two players, went to the hoop, and got an easy two. That was very nice, very nice. A lot of his teammates acknowledge that nice move, getting off the bench to clap it. Well, he's another real veteran, Okolaja, 31-year-old. Oh, Barros comes back with a three, deep, deep three as well. Harman gives it up to Femmerling. Okolaja. In it goes. Femmerling, another veteran player. Harman, a ball spiked against the glass by Musa. Angola protect the rim pretty See, well. See, once again, they're out in the open court. Oh! That's what they like to do. The following Think attempted putback. They'll tag Musa. Yes, they have. They'll tag Musa. But too aggressive. <laughs> Abdel Aziz. Musa, that's his third foul. That's Burroughs going to the lane. And <laughs> Dirk Nowitzki thought he had an easy of defensive board. Oh, he was muttering something about the sky <laughs> is falling as he fell to the floor. 29-24. I'm interesting. Musa's still in the game. Yes, interesting stage of the game. A lot of time for Musa to pick up that fourth foul. I certainly don't want that. Oh, pattern and move by Ukalaja. He just loves that little jump hook from around the key, in and around the keyhole. Lovely little jump hook. Well, that's an interesting uh, situation now. The Germans have two or three players who sort of share the burden. If Nowitzki's not, not on, then it might be Femmerling or Garrett. In this case, it's Ukalaja. Nowitzki. You see him pounding down the floor, gives it up to one of the guards, thinks better of trying to get around Barros. Haman kicks it out. Okolaja. We got a charge. So. Yep. He had a gleam in his eye, and the well, ref had a pee in his whistle. Barros was, Barros was well set. And Okolaja, Dirk Bellman's just saying to him, we don't need to get into that quick shot offense. Because, look, Barros was there well, well before... Anyone even thought of any, doing anything? 
Well, that's called putting your body on the line for, for country, for home, for club, for the glory of Angola. 31-24, still a seven-point lead here to Germany. Carlos Murray at point guard for Angola. Inside it goes, and Okolaja fouls at the other end, comes down and within 10 seconds, has a second foul a pasted next to his name. So that'll be his third foul for Okolaja. Gomez had him sealed down low for a long, long time. Barros didn't see him. In comes the shooter, Damon Green. Well, another very low scoring contest here, 31 to 24. There's two minutes to play in the, in the first half and Germany certainly not putting Angola away. Angola struggling to get a little offensive continuity. Tough matches here. Murray, ball has a life of its own, mind of its own, Gomez. Oh. Little scoop shot, gets his own rebound. Weak what side, a good he's got move, it. And Gomez. One. That was a pretty little move that he did on Femeling in the first place. And then he came under the basket to grab his own offensive rebound. This is a pretty move. This is unfortunate it didn't go in. But he was still had the presence of mind to attack the basket. Get the Gomez shooting two. The team shooting eight out of nine from the line. Gomez, three of four so far. Free throws count, free throws win ball games. I know that's trite, but it's very, very true. And Angola doing pretty well in that category right now. So that turned that two point put back into a three point play and Schultze comes in for Germany, replacing Femmerling. Demerol at point guard and Nowitzki, the big man playing offense everywhere, anytime, all the time. Green inside, Nowitzki. Mingus setting himself, reaching in, trying to stop the big fella. Schultze saves it, but it goes to Barros, and he tries to motor around Demerol, who reaches in and fouls him. Well, Demerol knows the game plan for Germany. Don't let the Angolans get into the open court. Stop every fast break opportunity. We've got three point guards. There's 15 fouls among them. Let's try and stop them. Two fouls for Demerol, but good strategy. The Germans sticking to the game plan. Uh, Barros trying to put some of that shirt somewhere. Don't players just love playing with their shirts out and uh, the referees constantly remind them, take your shirt back in. Well, uh, a little distraction, fiddling around with his attire. He misses the free throw. Nine of 11, Angola in the first half. 31-27, four-point spread in one minute and 19 seconds left to go in the first half. Could be a crucial last 60 seconds here. Three-point ball game, Germany with possession. A stop here would do Angola's chances a heap of, well, of good. Green trying to get Schultze inside, nothing there. The kick back to Nowitzki. Bounce, bounce coming over the top, free throw line. Into the corner, it's picked off by Barros, who's up quickly. Demerol shut out. him down though. Demerol shut the fast break down. Exactly what Germany want. Well, it's one of the features of every game, the little point guards, they're doing their job. They're sort of hyperactive out there. And Moray, Misses, almost an air ball. Green, inside, Nowitzki, left all alone. He blew his shot, gets his own rebound and puts it back up. And he knocks two Angolan players down just for good, good measure. And he had a few words to say to the referee about that missed call on the shot, he thought. Murray. 33-28, we're down to eight seconds. Now they make their move. Barros down the lane as the ball raked out of his hands by Demerel. It's really interesting. If you watch uh, guys like Nowitzki, Paul Gasol was doing it the other night as well. The NBA players always look up to the center scoreboard in the middle of the court because they're so used to having these big scoreboards showing replays and, and time and clock and all that sort of thing. <laughs> 
he just looked up to see uh, how much time was on the clock and he had to sort of look around to the basket. It's, it's really interesting how they're used to something like that, so simple, and yet uh, they just don't have it here. I thought some of them were looking skyward for guidance, Jeff. <laughs> Barros makes his first. Good free throw shooting continues from Angola. We've got a three-point spread. Now there's 4.8 seconds on the board. Hamann comes in, the point guard. There's plenty of time for Germany to make one, possibly two passes, get a good look, and knock down a two-pointer. Demerol over halfway. Gives it to Nowitzki, who turns and launches one. Now that was a good look from three meters above the, the arc, but it misses. It falls just short. So at the end of 20 minutes of play, Germany surprisingly clinging to a three-point lead over Angola. Both teams sitting on a three win, one loss record. Spain leading, of course, with a four and one, four and oh record. They play Japan later today. Mingus from a long way out, misses the first shot. And a couple of Angolan players, Cipriano and Gomez, bump into one, each, one, one another and uh, mess up the rebound. Goes over to Germany. And right away, as they did to start the game, they go down low to Femmerling, backing in, kicks it out. Hamann, baseline, back to Femmerling. Femmerling drives, nice move from the big guy, and he misses a shot at a good look. He had a great look, and uh, Angola tried to push it out quickly, but the German transition defense is up to the task. Down low to Gomez, Femmerling comes around, almost gets the steal, Gomez backing in. Jump shot, little fade away, doesn't go down, and is knocked out of bounds by Dirk Nowitzki, who Whoa. takes his case to the court. He was very upset with that. I, from my own camera angle here, I thought Mingus had knocked it out, but the referee was a lot closer than me. Barros. Plus he's more important than I am, Bob. He's he got a whistle, whistle, that's one thing, Jeff, you're right. <laughs> Murray takes it down the lane and he stays in the air. He sort of double pumps the ball. He brings it down, puts it back up in trouble. He draws the foul, so he'll be on the line right there. Green hits him on the wrists. Can the free throw shooting, the good free throw shooting, an 86% clip continue in the second half for Angola? Hold your breath. Angola score first, and we've got a one-point ball game. Would you believe it? Germany just clinging to a one-point lead here over Angola. The surprise in Pool B, the World Championships 2006. They're making believers out of everyone. Green comes high. Can't buy a basket from outside. Germany not particularly happy out there. Two of eight. Three-point attempt. Cipriano corner. Hamann on the run, gives it to Garrett. Oh, oh, Cipriano with a big spike. Well, there was a volleyball tournament here during the weekend, so <laughs> Cipriano came straight from the volleyball tournament, spiked that. Whoa. What a great defensive play. This boy can jump, but Angola give it up straight away at the other end. Very generous indeed, giving it straight back to Germany underneath. Gomez knocks it away from Femmerling. And the game poised right now. Germany haven't been able to get untracked offensively. And two minutes have expired. In the third period, Germany hasn't even looked like scoring. Only two free throws from Angola. An air ball from Demont Green.
down low, Gomez in the paint. And the foul from behind, Pem Femmerling. That'll That's be his, his third. third. That'll be his third, so we've got Demerol, Okolaja, Femmerling on three fouls for the Germans. Schultzer will be coming in to replace him. Here he comes now, Femmerling on his third foul. Bought a ticket to the bench. He'll ride the pine for a few minutes, probably most of this third period. They'll need him in the stretch if it's a close ball game. Murray goes left. Jump shot, nice fade away from the baseline. Just couldn't put it down, and Nowitzki gets the rebound. Nowitzki leading score in the game on 12 points. Five rebounds to go along with those points. Hamann comes off the pick, kicks it out into the corner. Garrett, they're so patient, the Germans on offense. Oh, look at that, the reach in. <laughs> look at the expression on Baros's face. He really did think he had that one. Let's have a quick look at it here. He did reach across the body, <laughs> and I suppose that's what the referee's saying. Well, you did reach across the body. Well, it's like a little boy sneaking the extra cookie yep. in the kitchen. Mother caught him. He gets the foul. Nowitzki from the top of the key. Can't buy a basket. And Gomez up there just making sure it didn't go in. Taps it off the iron. Murray, spin dribble. And he's called oh. for the charge. And I think Murray there pulled a foul. And he's looking around saying, yeah. Well, technically, the defensive player has to be stationary. They has to arrive at the spot and be absolutely stationary to get the call. I thought Haman Split really second. acted. Haman reacted there, and that was nowhere near a foul. And another thespian award dished out. Haman this time. Green looking underneath for Schultz. Cross-court pass. Garrett has a very, very good look and rims it in and out. The little Tanifa pucks it out of the basket. Call it a gremlin, leprechaun, whatever you like, or in Maori, uh, Tanifa. Spin dribble, back high, and Barros moving it around. Cipriano on the baseline. Yeah, so athletic, that man, Jeff. Nowitzki worried him out of that shot, got the defensive rebounds, come down, puts it up. Well, both teams have gone cold. Yeah, Nowitzki cold now too. Cipriano misses the shot. Once this guy is in the air, he seems to be able to change direction. I know it's impossible, but you watch him. He's just brilliant. Mengus against Schultz down low. Backing in. Has to kick it out. Gomez from the three-point line throws air. Angola, a chance to go into the lead. Germany still haven't scored. We played four and a half minutes in the third period. Well, this is a trench warfare yeah, classic. Moray gets another foul. That's the second. He had to stop the German fast break because down the other end, Dirk Nowitzki was posted. Substitutions coming in for Angola, Almeida. And Latunda, the captain, number 14. He hasn't been in the ballgame for quite some time. Almeida, a streak shooter, if he can get a good look at the three. And Almeida, or I, uh, uh, sorry, Latunda, he too is very, very good shooter out beyond the arc. Nowitzki on the baseline. Just puts up the jumper. He's got it. It's the second time he's done that. Yeah, he's just got the, uh, the ability to make a shot out of nothing. Because Germany had nothing there once again. Well, he waited patiently for the cutters. Nobody was doing anything, so he put it up himself. Schultze tips the ball to Nowitzki. Fast break. Nice pass underneath. Okolaja polishes it off. And Germany with four unanswered points. Rip into a five-point lead. It was a one-point ball game two blinks ago. Angola need to score to stem the tide here. Almeida from a long way out. And Germany a chance to go even further into the lead if they score on this possession. Once again, very deliberate on their offensive execution, Germany. 
inside outside game well there's a mismatch Mingus working against uh, Nowitzki Mingus doing a good job but he's giving away at least seven centimeters and a lot of weight as well probably more in terms of height Almeida against Green Cipriano from outside and Angola's gone cold there's ice in the bucket Four minutes just under to play. Mitet Demorel misses the shot. Now Angola, a little bit more deliberately, come over halfway. They need two. But this is this is great if you're a German fan because of the fact that they've got Angola exactly where they want them in a half-court game. They haven't got that run-and-gun style going, and they really have to work on their half-court offense as Mingas converts uh, a somewhat lucky shot, shall well, we say. That's one of the toughest shots in basketball. You're so deep on the baseline from the side that you're looking back in court to see the basket. It's a very, very bad angle to shoot the ball, but Mingus knocks it down. That's a standoff. Whoever blinks first could get blown away. Well, not blown away. A seven-pointer sounds like a blowout with this kind of scoring. 37-34. Okolaja, that jump hook, that's nice. He's got a beautiful jump hook, Okolaja. Every time he throws it, it, it looks so, so balanced. Now Latunda trying to draft. Traffic comes off a pick set for him by Gomez. You see that so often, that's basic offense. Calvajo, the old veteran. Oh, Gomez, yes! He goes around Schultz and dunks it. Well, Schultz took the ball fake baseline. Gomez went straight to the rack and able to finish strongly. He, he enjoyed that. Gomez, 2.03 meters tall. Great jumping ability. Nowitzki inside, Schultz. Overcooks it, misses a shot, gets his own rebound. Ball raked out of his hands, and it's going to be Almeida number 13. That'll be a second. He's had a really unhappy time in this game, Almeida. He is one of the main men offensively for the gym, uh, for the Angolans. Harman shakes back into the ball game, replacing Green at point guard for Germany. Well, wow, nice touch from Schultze. Four of six from the free throw stripe. 14 of 16 for Angola. That's what's kept Angola in the game. 40-36, four point spread. He misses the second, so one shot, one point off the two shot foul. And Angola, if they score two, well, it's plus one to them. Latunda, nice arch, can't put it down. Mingus knocks it out of bounds. Well, the Germans are happy with that. They're not doing, they're not overextending themselves, Bob. They're just doing what it takes to stay in the lead. A one-point win is as good as a ten-point win for them. Angola. If they cause an upset here, nobody will doubt that they're here and they're for real. Nice little understanding. Schultz takes a nice feed, nice assist for Mokalaja, and gets an easy two. 42-36, Angola now have to score. They're under pressure right now. Knocking it around the outside, and underneath it goes Gomez against Schultz. Good matchup here. The jump hook shot, ball hangs tantalizingly on the ring, falls away. Gomez will get two free throws. He's been pretty steady from there. And that, that was on Nowitzki, as you see, just rakes the arm there on Gomez. So Nowitzki, that's his second foul. As a precaution, Patrick Femmeling will come in to the game. Seven one seven two to replace seven foot.
Gomez has the first. Cuts the lead now to five points. Gomez, the only player in double figures for Angola, sitting on 13. Nowitzki on 14 for Germany in such a low-scoring game. There's little surprise that there's only one player from each team in double figures. Cipriano on nine for Angola. Nobody really in foul trouble unless you consider Demerol and Okolaja on three. But it's late in the third period. They've got two to give, and Okolaja goes oh, to double figures with that one. What a lovely little offensive uh, move there. He used the pivot foot a number of times to get people off the ground, waited for everyone to jump around, and then just lay it up. Beautiful basketball. Almeida kicks it out. What a pass. Cipriano, one bounce to the left. Can't nail it. That was Cavallo. That was Cavallo, sorry. Cipriano's gone to the bench. He needed a rest. All the skywalking he was doing. Schultze for wow. three. Do you like that? That's a clutch basket. That's the kind that wins games 47-38. And now Angola in trouble. They're down nine. They just haven't been able to score. Another miss. Germany, 14-8. That wasn't, even close. This corner. that wasn't even close by Almeida. Generally a very, very good outside shooter. Well, we're just seeing a little mini choke from Angola here. Offensively, just not able to do the job. And that's the end of the third period with Germany in the waning minutes. Sort of blasting ahead to a nine-point lead here. 47-38 in the context of the game. That looks pretty comprehensive, but it's not. Anything could happen in the final 10 minutes of play. an interesting matchup and that starts at 4 p.m. Japan time, Hiroshima time. Demerel inside. Okay. Demerel from up top. Well, the Angolans forced to stop on the zone and the running got the two. Mingus, that's great body control. Just, just when they disappear, they come roaring back like that. Well, that's the thing that the Germans have got to do. Stick to their game plan defensively. Get back in defensive transition. Stop any break opportunities that the Angolans are going to have because they're so effective in the open court. And offensively go down the other end and make the Angolans play defense in the half court. Simple game plan. Got to stick to it. Well, they needed the three-point play, I do believe. They missed the free throw. They're still shooting well, 16 of 19, but percentages don't matter now. There's Germany sitting on 47. This is a low, low-scoring game. We've seen a couple of those. 60-57 last night. New Zealand came back from the death to beat Japan with a minute 25 to go. And from the corner, Cipriano knocks well, it down. Cipriano's been out of the game a while. Back into the fourth quarter. Nails a three. Brings Angola back to four. Nowitzki into Femmerling. The two big guys. Good understanding. They've been together a long time. Femmerling, nice move. He goes low, comes back high, and gets a little finger roll hook. Well, Germany sticking with the game plan, even though Angola makes the odd little run here and there. Germany just sticking with their game plan. Barros a kick out to Hay. Mingus lights it up. Six points in a row from three-pointers for Angola. Three-point ball game. It's not over yet. Eight and a half minutes to play. Nowitzki. Averaging just under 20 points per game. He's got 14 in this game. Angola's done a very good job on him. He's not as fired up as you think he might be, given the closeness of the score. Interesting, not a selfish player at all. He'll look for the cutting player. Now he comes to the free throw line, the fadeaway jumper from there falls short. Barros 
on his bicycle. But look at the Germans. Four of them back. Now five of them back on transition defense. Just cutting down the offensive opportunities. Great steal here by Okolaja. Oh, oh, that's, that's a, a charge. great charge. That's Baros. a charge. And Baros was there. Okolaja has nothing to complain about. Just off picture, though. Here's redemption in capital letters. Baros makes a mistake. Watch the hustle. Motoring on his bicycle, he gets there. Plants, boom. <laughs> Okolaja, he didn't know what to do. A player of his caliber, you would have thought he'd pull up for the jump shot. That's his fourth foul. He goes to the bench. Well, Jeff, he's 31 years old, and you just don't have the mobility and quickness that you do when you're 23. Look at that Mingus. From nowhere comes a right-handed scoop shot. Angola right in Germany's face. They're one point down with 7 minutes, 40 seconds to play. Well, Germany will go to Nowitzki, as I thought. He'll pull the three. No, oh, in it and pops out. in and out. And that was off Femmeling on the offensive glass. So Germany Whoa. clinging on to a one-point lead. Dirk Bauerman looking up at the scoreboard. Angola on a 10-2 run in the fourth period made a game of it. One point separating these teams. This could be a big, big upset. Germany pasted by Spain in that matchup. They lost by 21. Angola went down by 10 to Spain. Certainly got their respect. Now they're getting the German respect as well. Murray, Gomez, guarded by crafty Patrick Femmerling. Mengus, top of the key, foul. Hamann or Nowitzki? I'd say that was Nowitzki, yep, it was. Dirk Nowitzki, that's the second foul. Dirkster hasn't scored yet. Only the two points, I believe, in the, the second half. Uh, it's a pretty calm-looking exterior. Hard to read what's on his face or in his mind. He's a total, absolute professional. Eduardo Mingus misses the first free throw. They could be in the lead if they continue to shoot at that hot 90% clip. It's 16 of 20, down to 80. One of two. Tie ball game, seven minutes to go, and Antonio Carvalho has got to be a happy coach, albeit a nervous one. Well, underneath just, Femmerling, just, he's camped underneath there, and Gomez called for holding. Yeah, I just like the way that Germany are, are very controlled. Sure, Angola, the meeting this run in terms of, well, we know that Angola are a good enough team to make a run at us. But they didn't panic. They came down. They stuck to their game plan. They got the ball inside. Inside, outside game on, on offense. Taking their time. Not going to do anything silly. Demon Green, can he hit it from outside? No, but the weak side rebound goes to Nowitzki. He wants it straight back. He gets it. You can see him calling for the ball. Harmon goes the length of the court, has it blocked. But Germany pick it up again. Nowitzki, little spin, that fadeaway jumper. It's not there. Femmerling, he's a beauty. Patrick Femmerling, the veteran of the German team, just able to get that little bit of jump on Gomez for the tip-in. Germany by two, 59-41. Angola with possession, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Murray, he draws a foul. Oh. The follow-through gives him the two and one to come. Well, the coaching staff, the players are up off the bench for Angola. They like that. Murray just took Demon Green. Demon Green came back at him. Well, Jeff, this is what happens when a superpower, so-called, toys with a, uh, a pretender, Angola, and suddenly there's hardly any time left in the game, and you're looking at a locked-up score. And, man, the upstarts are gaining in confidence, and the old pros, the Germans, Starting to wonder, starting to worry slightly. As Angola takes the lead, 52-51, 6-14 left to play. Harmon sort of nervously drops the ball. Schultz into the game, very solid forward for Germany. Replacing Femmerling, they spell Femmerling quite often, he does get tired. Green inside, Nowitzki. 
He takes steps. That referee tags him with steps. Nowitzki. <laughs> and Nowitzki, that word. Yeah, Nowitzki just had the ball, slammed it out of the back of his hand as he walked away. He did travel. It was yeah. a good call. The I other was... referee warned him about throwing the ball. Barros against Harmon. Murray. There he is, Cipriano lights it up. Oh, Does he oh. want? Hey, goodbye Germany perhaps. Carvalho, he's a happy coach and look at the fans. Well, both these teams are gonna go through, no, no doubt about that, but the winner will go through in second place. And in the cross up, crossover match, they'll get the third place, place finisher in pool A. Ball knocked out of, oh no, it's not out of bounds. Hustle for Murray, <laughs> the little guards doing everything for Angola now. Murray. He's played so well, five points from him. And no mistakes, really. Cipriano against Garrett. From a long way out, Barros knocked to the floor. He slides well over halfway. That put him in a good transition defensive position. Oh, Nowitzki tried to go through his legs, and Barros picks it up for the steal. He's got it. That's cheer hustle. Take your hats off to the little man with a patch over his eye, Milton Barros. 57-51 in Germany. Nervous, wondering, doubtful, you bet. If he doesn't drill this, and they don't get the rebound, and Nowitzki goes to the deck. Ball knocked out by Gomez. Well, Nowitzki really giving Demerol something to think about in the next offensive position. Well, you give Angola a sniff, and they'll take a second piece of the pie. They're doing it here. The star's on his back, and Gomez is talking to the referee, saying, Nowitzki hit it out. But Germany will inbound the ball. Four minutes, 39 seconds to play. Angola sitting on a six-point lead. It's a crucial possession, I believe, for Germany. Nowitzki out beyond the three-point line, gives it up. Now he calls for it. Gomez right up next to him. Into the corner. Green, they live or die by this three, and they've got it. Well, Clock they live shooting. and die by the fact that Damon Green is able to hit big shots when needed. Patient on the offense, got it inside once again, inside outside game, inside to Nowitzki, passed it out around the keyhole, Damon Green, easy three in the end. Well, four of 18 from three point shooting and Green has two oh. of those. Cipriano, you beauty! Well, Light Cipriano, it up, baby! That was deep. Michael Loja just sat way back in, under the three point line and Cipriano stung him. Re-establishes that six-point lead. We're under four minutes to play. Akalaja. Now there's 11 seconds on the shot clock. Ticking down here. Goes inside. And the push from behind on Mingus. It'll be on Mingus on Nowitzki. Mingus remonstrating with the referee. Germany have only three field goals this quarter. Remember, it was 47-38 at the break. It's... 60-54 now. Third foul on Mingus. Mingus leaning against Nowitzki. Demerol passes up the three. They want the ball in this man's hands. He'll do the fadeaway. No, he comes into the paint, and he's fouled before he gets the shot up. So Nowitzki has been on 14 points for minutes and minutes, and he goes to the free throw line. That's four fouls for Mingus. Eduardo Mingues, he's just not being able to. He goes up and gives uh, Nowitzki five and says, Yeah, I've got to do what I've got to do, son. In the post, I've got to push you around. I've got to make you work for it. Nowitzki knows that. He makes the free throw. He's on 15 points. And he's got his double. He's got 10 free throws to go with it. Ten free throws or rebounds? Rebounds it is, sorry, 60-56, four-point lead. Correction coming from the coach. The ticking off. Murray lowers his shoulder, that's a charge. Now Angola just losing a little offensive control. Well, you haven't seen the Germans panic yet, have they? So they're confident in their ability to be able to keep Angola in this half-court set sort of try and ride the wave and, and 
and just see what Angola can do. Sure, Angola's up four at the moment, but Demon Green trying to change that. Nowitzki, another offensive rebound and another foul. And Nowitzki puts up a practice shot while the referees are making the call. Angola lead 22-9 in the fourth quarter. They've just sort of snatched the game out of the grasp of the Germans. They were down by nine points coming into the final 10 minutes. <laughs> Bit of gamemanship by Gomez. Now with a capital G, Nowitzki answers it. He looks over at Gomez as though to say, didn't put me off at all, mate. Another little look there. And the second free throw to come. This could make it a two-point ball game. It does. Oh, Mr. Automatic, Mr. NBA, Mr. Everything, Mr. Planet, Mr. Basketball. Nowitzki is on 18 points, 10 rebounds. He's got his double-double, another one. Barros makes the move left against Demerol, just leaves him for dead. Well, that was a pretty quick offensive move by Barros. Demerol is not a slow man by any stretch of the imagination. Cipriano comes up trying to make the steal off Nowitzki. That'll be his third foul. There's a lot of body contact out there, and I think uh, Cipriano's wrong here. Here it is, the foot speed, pedaling furiously, gets to the line well before Demerol. And there's Cipriano. He had no show getting the ball there. Fouls Nowitzki and back to the line. Smack. He's been absolutely tight. Marvellous from the free throw line right now. Well, he's six of six. Here's his seventh. And Germany now 10 of 13. Free throw shooting in this game has been very, very good. 62-60. Two and a half minutes to play in a ball game. Angola clinging to a two-point lead. It was six just a moment ago. Hey, that's a big shot. That's Mingus. Well, they can all shoot that medium-range jumper. And the defense was slack there from Germany. You haven't seen it very often, the slack defense. Barros trips on Nowitzki's foot. Green left open for a moment and puts it down. That's clutch basketball. You get the shot, you got to knock it down, and Green answers the call. Two minutes to play. Two points separating these two teams. The winner goes through in second place. In pool B, Mingus. Oh, from the weak side rebound, Nowitzki. And a ball's knocked out of bounds by Gomez, they say. Nowitzki makes a big defensive stopper. That was a great defensive play by Germany. And particularly here he comes. Duke Nowitzki staples it to the glass. Oh, and he did get out of the way too. That was a great camera work. We saw it, you saw it, you were right there on the spot. Nowitzki going baseline. He misses a shot. He gets his own put back. Oh, and it's he's heavy. It's the Dirk Nowitzki show. That ties it up at 64 all. One minute and 30 seconds to play. Angola now struggling offensively. Can they answer the call? They've played so well, come so far. Germany just doing enough to stay with them. You get the feeling Germany's a little more comfortable. Oh, oh my goodness me. Yes, Cipriano, indeed. Cipriano. That was Olympic heave from Cipriano. Like, Haman couldn't play better defense if he tried. That was great defense, but offensively, just That's perfect. That's an in-your-face three. Now, Germany have got to answer it. 104. Time ticking down in green. He's short with it. Mingus, ball knocked out of bounds by Mingus. He could have grabbed that ball. He could have kept it in bounds. Well, he thought clearly Germany had knocked it out. Well, three referees all said it was Germany's ball, so. Nowitzki spins. And one. That's the quality of Duke Nowitzki. He got Gomez off the ground. Still had the presence of mind, the physical abilities to get the shot up. Here he goes. Gomez is off the ground. Nowitzki tries to go for the and one. Germany are going to have to make a great defensive play here because even if Nowitzki hits the two, they're still down one. 
they'll have plenty of time. Well, Nowitzki is just so steady. That's eight in a row from the free throw stripe. Germany now 11 of 14, 79%, 18 of 22 for Angola. Forget all the stats. We're down to 50, 50 seconds. It's a one-point ball game possession with Angola. And Milton Barros hounded now by Demerol. Full court pressure here by Germany. Time ticking away. A basket here could put Germany under real pressure. We're down to 38 seconds. Cipriano the again. Shot clock. He oh, misses and it. Haman. Oh, yes, way out. Haman loses his cool. Oh, my goodness. That's a three. Stefan Haman. Watch him come off the... Well, from that angle, you couldn't see it. But I thought... Haman had played good defense like he did the time before. There was but contact as he got, came down, Jeff. Obviously, he got him with the body. Here it is. Talk about pressure. This is it. Cipriano on the line. A chance he could put it away here. He misses the first. So, Germany will have a chance to tie. Even if he makes the two. And don't you like it? Cipriano smiling. He's that relaxed about it all. He's smiling as he stands there, having missed the first one. Here's the second. He's got it. Two-point lead. 36.5 seconds left. A nail-biter here at Green Arena. Well, he makes it two. It's a three-point lead. Germany in possession now. Tons of time for Germany to make a one either a good three-point shot or an easy two, try and get a two plus one from the free throw line. Germany in possession from halfway. Clock starts, as soon as somebody inbounds, touches the ball, he got five seconds to get it in. They just manage it, Nowitzki at the top, working against Gomez. Now he comes low, kick out, Demerol steps up, can he do it? He's got oh, it, oh, tie ball game. Demerol with the tie for the three. And plenty of time defensively now. 26 seconds to go. Still at least two possessions for both teams. I don't know what the stoppage was all about, Jeff. As soon as the shot went in, the clock stopped. People walking around. Now the referee went over to check something of the scoreboard. Now there's where the clock stopped. I don't know why. Substitutions now. Defensive stopper team comes in for Germany. That's Green. Schultz. Well, Haman has got to be careful because you've got to go to the hot man of Angola. Coming off a couple of screens. Cipriano. Let's see what they do. Shot clock and game clock virtually the same. Angola will get the last look in the game if they play their cards right. Barros. 12 seconds. Counting down. Nowitzki. And a mismatch against Barros. We're down to six seconds. What's he going to do? Five seconds. Here he comes down the lane. Puts it up. We got oh, a charging call. Charge. Good defense by Hamani. Jumps up. Grabs Schultz. Barros, he thought he could uh, do it against Nowitzki. He went down the lane. And Haman not only had his feet set, he had a tent set as well. well and we he saw knows it. Baros in redemption just a moment ago, and here's Haman into redemption. Here we go, Rola. Could be looking into the at the game. A overtime game, three seconds to play. Germany will inbound the ball. It wasn't a shooting foul because Angola were in possession. Here we go over halfway. Demerol into the corner, gets a good look. It's not there. Shot waved away, no good, taken after the time expired, and we're into overtime. The beginning of the overtime, five minutes of play. And Angola inbound the ball. Barros against the hero for the moment, little Mitat Demerel, who hit that three-pointer. Mingus, a threads 
The needle with the pass from outside. That's Cipriano and Mingus poli well, polishes it off. That was just a straight miscommunication defensively by the Germans. Just uh, as I talk up their half-court defense, it goes to sleep. And now we're talking about something down to the bench. I didn't see what happened, but the referee's gone over to check. It might be time. They're just checking the time. Well, it looks about right. Nine seconds expired in that passage of play. That seems all right. Whatever it is, there's no problem. Referee signals okay, and we're underway again. Germany inbounding the ball. After the first, the opening two points by Angolo, back into a two-point lead. Nowitzki's got 24 points now. He's carrying the Germans on his back. Demerol chipping in with that crucial three. He'll spin right. Has the ball raked out of his hands. Good defense. And Murray comes up with the ball and hands it back to Barros. Well, the Germans are guilty of standing around waiting to see what Dirk Nowitzki's doing right now. Yeah, it's an, the Nowitzki show, all right. And when he handles the ball, lots of the Germans just stand around. And Mingus, he's got the first four points in the fourth, well, the overtime period. Well, he's not waiting around, is he? No way. Mingus being aggressive offensively. And the bus is ready to leave. You step on it. Get aboard. Here we Nowitzki. go. Everything's going through Nowitzki's hands. Another Nowitzki. opportunity and one. He missed the first layup. He got the offensive rebound. Gomez wasn't anywhere near it. And I think it was Cipriano got the foul in the end. Here we go. Puts it up. It was, it was as if Nowitzki was thinking, I'm going to miss this. The defense has come across. Let me just lay it up nicely in case I miss it. The rebound I should be able to get, and he did. Chance to convert a three-point play. Yeah, he had presence of mind to just put it on the glass and say, I'll get the putback, which... As Jeff said, he did. So he's got the two points. Here's the and one. That guy is automatic from the free throw line. He's 10 of 10. Germany now 13 of 16, 20 of 25. Right, right now, Nowitzki's putting on an offensive show to go with his uh, 12 rebounds and two block shots. And it's not showboating. It's just all cool professionalism. Murray. Trying to attack the German defense. Mingus posting up low. Oh, Murray Mingus. Down. Mingus absolutely hammered someone in the paint. I think it was Damon Green. And you heard the clash of bodies all the way up here. I think Haman touched that ball before it went out of bounds, but they've given it over to Germany. He was a very lucky man. I think Damon Green was just checking on the floor to see if there was any teeth missing. <laughs> Whether there was any lying around. Germany down by one, but they've got possession. Schultz, it wasn't looking, gets the, but he recovers in time to get the pass from Haman. Clear Nowitzki. out again for Nowitzki. Demerol penetrates, baseline, the kick out. There it is, Green. To the shooter. Good luck, and he Come knocks on, it down. Come on, Green. You just can't leave a guy of that quality open. Not in the crunch. Barros kicks it out. Cipriano from the corner. Oh, beautiful shooting, both teams. You can't leave him open either. 26 points for Olympio Cipriano. He's Do playing on four game? fouls. Nowitzki is just on Haman's case, <laughs> saying, look, you've got to get some defense there, buddy. <laughs> well, he's doing his best. Hand in the face, he couldn't try much harder. Green steps out and knocks, no, he misses over the basket, hits the strut so it's out of bounds. So with a one point lead, Angola have possession. Two and a half minutes to play, 2.39 to be exact. Melton Barros, oh, isn't it a classic matchup? Angola the upstarts chasing Germany. A reputed powerhouse from the European zone. Six teams come from the European zone. Germany finished second in the qualifying. Barros down the lane. Oh, the one-handed shot on the right hand. He misses it. 
Schultze with the rebound. How did you know it was going to Nowitzki? Oh, Demon Green inside for a three-point play. And Bados, he just can't believe that he that was that clinical. One. That Demon was Green clinical. got the ball. Look underneath. Oh, and a, a little push there. What was Bados thinking? One, he let Demon Green just sneak in there. And two, then he pushed him. Great yeah. play by Dirk Nowitzki to get it to that man, Demon Green for the three-point play. He yeah. makes it. Let the rabbit out of the cage, left the door open. Green went back door. So now Germany by two, 78-76. Pressure back on Angola. They've got a score. Cipriano, he's had the hot hand. He's been the mighty man in the last uh, 10 minutes or so. And inside, the pushing foul is gonna be against Green, DeMont Green. And can the free throw shooting from Angola continue at the pace it's been thus far, 20 of 25? That's four fouls on DeMond Green. Could be a little crucial. Four because players. he is the scorer from the outside, DeMond yeah. Green. No ways, two ways about that. Four players and double figures for Germany. Akalaja 10, Schultz at 10, Green 14, and Nowitzki, of course, with 27. And for Angola, Cipriano with 26, Barros 13, Gomez 14, and Mingus 16. And Murray misses his first. Late in the ball game. And the ice beginning to form in the elbow. Well, Murray's saying, Haman's got his hands on the air. Is that legal? I'm sure it You're is. Allowed. There's nothing yep. wrong with it. As long as you don't move them around. They take them down. Well, it made Murray think, talk, distracted him. But he makes one of two. One point game, Germany now, 78-77, 145 and counting down. Overtime, the push off from Demerol, no whistle. Nowitzki, what's he gonna do with it? Well, something you can bet. The spin, he's gonna go right. No, he comes all the way on the right side, he gets the two, it's a three point lead. Well, see, Mingus is on four, so Mingus can't be too aggressive. Yeah, you know, it's a 121 to go in the game. I think you have to be a little bit more aggressive than what Mingus did there against Nowitzki. Barros goes inside, kicks it out, and Gomez! Oh! Well, what happened there was Schultze went to go help Nowitzki. Nowitzki says, I don't need any help. It was the little man. <laughs> you just have to stay with your man so he doesn't come to the basket like that. Just miscommunication by the German defense. Germany by one. The steal. It's ahead. Murray. He's got it. And Angola grabbed the lead again by one. 55 seconds. A timeout taken by Germany. Offensively, the ball will go to Nowitzki. Ah, uh, Jeff, go out on a limb. Why not? Take <laughs> a risk, mate. There you go. All my coaching knowledge came to the fore then. Gomez. A kick out. Schultze, he'll have it, it's short. Oh, the rebound, Cipriano couldn't hang on to it. Nowitzki, he's in the paint. The jump hook, it's out. It's on the floor. Oh, goal has got it. And a foul. Nowitzki, he had the opportunity two or three times. As does Schultze, and then they drop them. Gomez misses. Well, it could possibly be a two-point ball game, or Stay a one-point ball game now. He's oh, he misses the second one, but oh, Mingus, Mingus gets the rebound. He got the now. rebound over Schultze. Now the Germans have to play some hustle defense and foul. And Demet Green comes out. Gomez very unhappy with himself, smacks the ball to the floor. But well, they... that's critical for Germany because that's Demon Green, Demon Green. He's gone for the game. That's his fifth foul. But that was a basic mistake by Schultze. Schultze, he should have got the rebound. Because that was too easy. Minguez, a good four, five inches shorter than Schultze. Carlos Murray. He's not going to worry about it, is he? No, he's not. Now the Germans are facing a bigger task. Same scenario, could be three down, but with less time on the clock. 
Murray, he's got both of them. 20 seconds to play. Germany inbound the ball. Plenty of time. And they'll be looking for a three or to take it inside, get the two and get fouled. Mitet Demerel in the corner, Schultze. They're under trouble, under pressure now. The kick out, Garrett from the corner. It's not there. Knocked out of bounds by Mengus. Well, Six Robert, seconds to play. Robert Garrett wasn't even close, and he's one of the German shooters. Yeah, he, Garrett shaking his head after that attempt. Schultze, I don't know what he was thinking in the end there. He had a three-point shot in the corner. He didn't take it. Time starts only when somebody inbounds touches the ball. There's six seconds, six desperate seconds for Germany. They're down by three. Angola on a 6-0 run into a three-point lead. Nowitzki in the corner. He wants the foul. He puts it up. He's oh, got it. Can you Nick believe it? Nowitzki. The pro. And he's saying, hey, he got my elbow. Would you believe it? Well, of course you would believe it because he's one of the world's greatest. Dirk Nowitzki. Puts it into the second overtime, and the crowd here are loving it. Whether you're a German supporter, a Angolan supporter, or a Japanese person just coming to watch the game, that's why we love the game. Look at this. Nowitzki, ball fake once, ball fake twice. Gomez couldn't do anything else other than play good defense. Dirk Nowitzki drops it, bottom of the net. Swish! Three points. Let's go to a second overtime. Remember, in overtime period number one, Angola scored the first four points. What will happen this time? Okolaja in the game. He's on four fouls. Nowitzki, the old pro, he's saved their bacon. He's in the game, and so too is Patrick Femmeling kicking the ball around. Nowitzki loses the ball on a dribble. A defensive stop from Angola. Murray kicks it out. Milton Burrows has his shot blocked by Haman. Uh, Haman, great block by Haman. A double dose of redemption for the young man. Well, he fouled the three-point shooter, Cipriano, before the first overtime. Oh, oh he gave Haman. it straight back to Cipriano. That's called generosity. He gives it straight to Angola and Gomez loses oh, the ball out of bounds. Oh, great defensive play. Nowitzki was, got his hand to it and Okolaja. Oh, easy basket for yep. the Germans. That's the stealthy, sneaky trailer play. Yep. Femmerling trailing the play, just glided past Nowitzki, got the pass and got the easy two. Germany, 85. Angola, 83. Gomez goes to the baseline, goes all the way to the hoop, and he's going to be fouled by Femmerling. It's good by Patrick. Oh, no, he's, no, on, no, he's four. Only on four. But Gomez, just too quick for him, he takes him to the hole, finishes up high. Well, free throw shooting has fallen away a little bit, 23-21, but that time Gomez nails it. Gomez has been pretty good, 7 of 10 from the free throw line. Angola could have won the game had they continued at their 90% plus rate. The Germans very methodical again with their offense. The game plan hasn't changed. Inside out, no other options. Get it to Nowitzki. Nowitzki into the corner. Harman. He misses, weak side rebound. Knocked out of bounds by Femmerling, who's standing there <laughs> arguing the case. <laughs> to no avail. Patrick Femmerling. He oh. wants to be a lawyer when he finishes, Bob. <laughs> well, he's just lost his first case in that case. Cipriano gives it back to the little general. Barros over halfway. Now Angola will look for... Probably Gomez, possibly Cipriano, Mingus underneath. Okolaja, the old man, makes a steal. Wacko! Well, I'll tell you what. That's probably the third time in this game that we've seen the Germans pick that pass off. That little cross-court pass. And all three times, it's been Barros that's thrown it. Well... The big play comes from Okolaja. That gives Germany the one-point lead, 87-86. Barros out front. 
A mental lapse in concentration gives Germany an easy two. We're halfway through second overtime period. Pass to the baseline. It's saved by Murray. Four seconds on the shot clock. Cipriano throws it. Hey, it's there. Do you believe it? From nowhere well, comes a big three from Olympio. Olympio Cipriano. He certainly is an athlete and a shooter. Is he what? No time on the clock. The clock was winding down. Comes up with another big play. Mismatch out front. Murray trying to stay with Nowitzki. Demerel goes inside. He gets a roll. You wouldn't believe it. The little guy saved them once. He possibly saved them again. Scores are locked at 89. Talk about a nail biter. People getting their money's worth here. Well, the players. You think they'd uh, go, Angola would go to the hot hand, Cipriano. He's just standing around. Oh, oh nice great pass. little drive by Barros. Again, Gomez, the recipient of a great drive. Inside the lane. That time again, Femeling leaving his man and no one recovering. Isn't that great camera work? Takes you right inside the game. You can see the look on Barros' face. He saw the open man. He puts the ball on the floor, and Gomez that's just bad, punishes the basket. That's just bad defensive rotation by the Germans. If you go and help, help and recover, well, someone's got to come down. The double teaming Nowitzki. Demerol, can he do it a second time in a row? No. The ball in the air. Herburn. And the game for Germany now gets the offensive board. 123 and counting down. It resets the shot clock. Nowitzki's free for a moment. He misses. Look at the putback. Two guys, Femmerling and Okalaja, miss the putback. Well, Angola have a great chance here to get a four, maybe a five point lead. Yeah, Germany's in trouble now. They could also go to the glass. He's got it. Four point lead, Jeff. You called it. They've got an opportunity to ice this game, and they did right there. Little ritual that they, they've got to go through with the referees, I suppose. Well, it's all about looking and being cool. Demerol goes around Murray. Little fake. Nowitzki gives it out to Demerol. Can he light it up? No, he doesn't. Ball spiked high, and Germany get another shot. Nowitzki down low. He's going to put the ball to the floor. And he goes in, he gets a two-handed jam. It's a two-point ball game. Ball is kicked out of bounds. That stops the clock at 41.8. Well, good play by the Germans. They didn't have to go for the three. They were patient, as they have been this whole game. They get the easy two. They'll play some defense. Still 41 seconds on the clock. They'll get another shot at it offensively that if ball. they don't get the ball here defensively. The ball wasn't kicked out of bounds. Nowitzki hit it out of bounds. Referee didn't see it. Could have been unsportsmanlike play, delay of game, call it what you will. Murray can't get it. Ball knocked out of bounds by Gomez, so Angola with well, a two-point win, two-point lead. See, that's, that's the Angolan. Too quick on the shot clock, and now they've given Germany a great, great opportunity, one, to either tie the game, or two, to win it with a three-pointer. And who's the ball going to go to, Bob? Any bets? Uh, just out of the hat, a wild guess, Nowitzki. 15 seconds, and the foul out front. Maybe not a bad play. Murray is betting on Demerel, missing one of these free throws. Well, there's a point guard. It beats the heck out of giving it back to Nowitzki. If he makes both of them, it's a tie ball game, and Angola have 14.5 seconds to get a very, very good look and win the ball game. There's the first one. It's a one-point game. Demerol, cool as a cucumber. It's a confident look in that face. Makes them both. Here we go. 14.5 seconds. Barros double-teamed, and yep, Nowitzki fouls him. He's going to count on the pressure being too much for little Milton Barros. Well, at the end of the day, and that's uh, four fouls on Nowitzki, so he can't afford to, to foul anymore, but... They want Boros to win it from the free throw line, so they still have 12 seconds, 11.9 seconds, 12 seconds effectively to have the game winner. To hit the game winning three. 
Drama? You bet. So Barros does his job. One to come. And Angola with a one point lead, 94 93 over Germany. 11.9 seconds. Don't blink. Germany will go for the win. He's got them both. All right, Germany now inbound the ball. Clock starts right now. Right now. When Here he we go. Is it. Demerol penetrates, kick out. Nowitzki, he's going to be fouled. And he'll go to the line. Third overtime, Bob. Could be five seconds to play. And again, we're right back to where we were a moment ago. Nowitzki will probably make both of these. He's 10 for 10. And if he does... Well, don't even go there. You'll have the German press come mugging us. <laughs> are you talking about the commentator's virus, are you? I'm not even going to say anything. Well, here's the old pro, Nowitzki. 10 of 10. 11 of 11. Doesn't even look like missing. You're Is this guy cool or what? You're tempting fate, aren't you, Bob? Oh, I like a little bit of drama in a basketball game. The German game. press are right in front of us. They look at us once in a while. Don't know why. We're just enjoying a great game of basketball. Barros gets it in. Four seconds. Can he get up this shot? Running off the glass hard, and we've got another overtime. 95 all. We've stopped talking about statistics and what have you. 51% shooting from the two spots. 31% for Angola threes. 9 of 29 and 23, 7 to 30 for Germany. Here we go. Overtime period number three. Five minutes to play. And Angola just throws the ball away. Well, Minguez was meant to get the ball in the post. He just walked away. Angola has scored first in the opening. Well, the first of the first two overtimes, Germany could... Finish it here by scoring first, possibly. In overtime number three, Okalaja gives it to Haman, throws it away. Barros pedaling furiously, trying to get up the court, saves it. Cipriano goes to the hoop, kick out in the corner. Murray doesn't drop. And Germany survived that little onslaught. Angola did what they wanted to do, quicken up the pace offensively. Got the right person, the, the ball, to shoot it. Just didn't drop. Herber, Okolaja, Schultze, Nowitzki, of course, and Haman. And a second turnover. Ball's on the floor. Nowitzki calls for it. He's got the three. He's, oh, oh, my goodness oh, look me. at him. The Mr. fist Ice. pump. The fist pump. No clock on the shot again. And Nowitzki, Mr. All-World. Mr. Third. One in a Lifetime, Mr. All Planet. 39 points for the game. Mingus, a little finger roll, can't hit it. And suddenly the completion of the game changes. That three-pointer gave Germany a 98-95 lead. They've got position, and they can really steal it from Angola if they make it here. Into the corner, Schultze misses. Weak side rebound, Cipriano. Why not give it to Dimitski every time? Every time a coconut. Well, they have, apart from that one. That's the first time they didn't give it to Nowitzki. Go to the man. Or he didn't touch it in the offensive set. Nowitzki just nothing. walks the length of the court, sets up low, and now he comes high. He wants the ball. He's got it there. He'll Can operate. He... He's a surgeon. Oh, that's a foul. He's a surgeon. He went to operate on Gomez. That's his fifth foul. Gomez is out of the game. Joaquim Gomez goes to the bench. 21 points. And Abdel Musa replaces him, number 12. Musa hasn't seen court time for a long, long time. Hasn't scored in the game. Three fouls on him. And a big, big responsibility on his shoulders now. Because he's going to have to guard Mr. All-World, Nowitzki. 
Mr. Universe will steal a term from another sport and just tag it on the forehead of this guy who knocks down his 12th, 13th straight free throw. He hasn't missed. He's 40, got 40 points. points. I don't know, Jeff, if you were picking man of the match, say for the German team, who's in contention? <laughs> <laughs> the fans. <laughs> Well, I think that's it, 2.51. I shouldn't say that, three minutes to play, but Angola now, nine, uh, six points behind the three-pointer and the three free throws off the fouled three-point attempt. Nowitzki's got them all. Cipriano off the glass. He doesn't get the follow-through. And he goes to the line. Foul. Clash of heads there, Herber commits the foul. And on the line, Latunda back in the ball game, the old captain, number 14 for Angola. But here come the two free throws, 26 of 34, 76%. It's fallen away late in the game. They could have won it in the fourth period had they continued at their 90% clip. They didn't. And two overtimes later, it's Cipriano bringing it back to within four. 101 97, 238. Left to play. And who's the ball going to go to? Uh, Nowitzki, Schultz. Nowitzki on the baseline. He comes across. Two bodies tangled up. Musa and Nowitzki on the floor. Okolaja throws it. And Musa gets off the floor first to get the rebound. Well, Germany. We're trying to get the ball down low to Nowitzki for him to operate against Musa. Musa's hurt his ankle. He's limping. Almeida into the game. He's a three-point shooter, but he hadn't been happy this game. Mengus, three seconds on the shot clock, and he goes around Schultz, who fouls him. And Angola now stepped to the line. Is there pressure or is there what on the Angola shooters? As long as Germany continue to foul, one, it stops the clock for Angola, but it also puts the pressure on Angola to make the free throws. It was shaky, They're but Menges will take it. They're back. Menges with his second, two of four. He's got it, he's three of five now, 30 of 38. And it's a two-point ball game, 101-99. If Germany can't score now, we could be looking at another tie ball game. So many ifs, so many possibilities. Nowitzki against Musa. He's going to make a move. Bounce. Musa picks his pocket. Oh, Musa's done a great job defensively. Could tie the game here. No, they can't. Okolaja. Latunda great, great uncharacteristically play. throws it away. Yep. Heartbreaker. Great move. Musa picked Nowitzki's pocket, and Angola just hand it straight back. Okolaja backing in. He's going to come high. No, the spin around. He's oh, got two, and it's a four-point spread. That was pretty. That was pretty. In the crunch of the game, the Germans go up four. Well, that's old man experienced basketball. Latunda back to Mengus in the lane. Oh, a running one-hander superlative. Well, they've got to try and attack Nowitzki because he's on four fouls. He's the German offense right now, 42 points. And they're trying to pull that fourth foul on Nowitzki. That fifth foul, sorry. Germany using up time. We're down to 42 seconds. Okolaja kicks it high. Schultz into the corner. Nowitzki's got the three-pointer from the corner. Oh! oh, you can't beat it. You he's, just can't beat it. He points the shooting iron to the crowd. 45 now, points from Dirk Nowitzki. Latunda taking too much time here. He shapes up. He just can't That's hit the, the ball three. Game, That's Bob. it. It's history. Nowitzki's fouled, and it's this, this guy's a machine. Absolute machine from everywhere. 45 the, points. The Germans, Minguez, he fouls out. Guarding all missed the world. Nowitzki, the Germans, five points up. With Nowitzki going to the line to shoot 
two free throws. He's 15 of 15. There it is. The game winner, effectively. He shoots the pointing iron. He points shows them. It's hot. Points the shooting iron, Jeff. <laughs> shoots the pointing iron. Anyway, we know what you're talking about. Nowitzki on the line. He's Sorry, 15 <laughs> straight. Tongue twister. Well, it's been a long, long afternoon. And the I, players must be feeling it. I'm sure Nowitzki doesn't like expending this much energy in this game. I was going to say he's missed one. 17 in a row. Nowitzki, 47 points. Angola just have not been able to contain him. Latunda has to give it up. Cipriano it goes baseline, goes to the hoop, and he gets the roll. 108, 103, five-point spread, eight seconds. It's all over. Germany's going to walk away with a win here. Well, not walk away. Lucky in the end. He took a bus. Haman took that extra step. Well, very entertaining game. Three seconds on the clock. Germany won't go near them. 3.1 seconds. Don't even contest it. Almeida on the buzzer, misses it. Heartbreaker. Well, not a heartbreaker. You got to say it's tough, but Angola have acquitted themselves so well. Germany got what they needed out of the big guy, Dirk Nowitzki, down the stretch just to win this game in overtime number three. Can you believe it? 108. 103.